for day number seven, we have a real pun. It's in this box here, and I haven't unwrapped this one yet. It's from our Japanese fan, Nagayasu Nawa, science teacher. And you can see it's a fan. So it's a periodic table fan from a fan, just in case you think, I can't see the picture. On the back is another periodic table. I think this is really beautiful. And I showed the photo of it in a lecture that I gave at the beginning of November. And in the audience, one of the people was the master of the honourable company of fan makers. In the city of London, they have honourable companies or worshipful companies that do all sorts of things. Fan makers, horners, all sorts of things. So I sent him one of these for their museum. And in return, he sent me a book, Fans and Fan Makers. And inside, there is a really nice dedication from the master of the worshipful company of fan makers. He also sent one of these books to Nagayasu Nawa in Japan, and he sent me a copy of the letter. So I think not only did I get a really nice present, but now one of these fans is in the Fan Museum in London. So if you ever go there, you'll know about the periodic table. We have a periodic table fan from a fan. Element 6, anthracite. Glowing plectrum with strontium aluminate. Four drinking receptacles. Three chemical pins. Two periodic table bed covers. And one piece of tartaric acid from a Swiss wine barrel. What will be day eight? Sees that distance greatly compressed, and so all the distances are squashed in that direction. So as far as it's concerned, the Earth's atmosphere is only about 50 meters thick, and it only has to travel that 50 meters, so it actually has time to get all the way from the top of the atmosphere to the Earth.